Hostiles have captured the hard point. Get a UAV on grid. Oh my god. Grandpa Newbie reporting for duty with the Black Ops 6 Beta. So over the next five days, all of my videos are going to be covering the Black Ops 6 Beta. Now, I realize that the weapons are going to change at release. Some of the best weapons in the Beta will not necessarily be the best when the game is released. But let's talk about playing the Beta since a lot of you will be. As you can see, I have covered a lot of the weapons in the first few hours of play. I'm going to concentrate on two of them today. The XM4, which I think might be the best all-around gun in the beta right now, and the Marksman Rifle, the SWAT 5.56, which also might be the best gun in the game right now. And all of these are based on my play style, how I play. So yours might be different. You might like something like the Scourge or the C9 submachine gun, the MP5 or MP9, people were calling it. Now, when you start out, you start out with their load until you get to level four. And then once you get to level four, some of the other weapons are opened up to you and you can try those out. Normally, I go through the loadouts, the, what I consider the best loadouts or high recoil loadouts or something like that. I take you to the firing range and then we go out onto the field of honor. Won't be any good this time because I don't have the weapons ranked up. And the loadouts probably are going to change. And you also need to get, like in Cold War, some of the other items ranked up before you get some of the attachments. The perks, the tacticals, the lethals, the upgrades, the wild cards are all based on leveling up. And you can expect all of your progress to be wiped. Maybe it won't, but you can expect it to be wiped before the release of the final version sometime, I think in October. But don't hold me to that. Let's take the XM4 powerful assault rifle and the SWAT 556 onto the field of honor. See how it did for grandpa. See what it did to grandpa's very good, I mean, sweaty lobbies, enemies. And by the way, I played with a lot of you subs. We had six subs teamed up. Some of those guys are absolutely awesome players. They bring me into lobbies that grandpa doesn't normally see. And I really enjoy playing with them and I enjoy learning and I enjoy increasing my skill level in the game. Let's go. All right, this is what you want to see. This is the XM4 assault rifle. Very powerful. The only attachment I have at this point is an optic. So out of the box, factory settings, that's what you're going to see to start with, and they're very good. Let me let you know up front, this game is absolutely awesome. I think, uh, like I said, I had six of us teamed up at one point. There's one that isn't part of our team. The players are really good that I play with. In fact, very high skill levels. We did play against one guy that's a famous YouTuber named Blue. Maybe some of you know Blue. And they were pretty excited about that every time they gacked him. But the game is awesome. There is one setting that you must address in your controller. And I'll get to that in a video that I will release right after this one. So in the next, within 45 minutes or so, releasing this video, I will go over that setting in detail and you will have a much, much better experience. The advanced movement didn't throw me off at all. Sometimes I ended up back on my back pointing my weapon at people, but it all seems very, very natural. So don't be concerned in the least about that. You start off with ammo packs, ammunition, boxes. That's the only equipment that you have. And as you can see, Grandpa is soaking. We didn't like losing. These guys, like I said, are good players. They're used to winning. And Grandpa doesn't want to be the reason they lose. XM4 is powerful, as is the pistol. Grandpa had several long pistol shots, and they were just absolutely deleting people. Now, some of the teams we played against 
pretty much melted us. So there are some good players in the beta, good players on Grandpa's team. Skill-based matchmaking appears still to be a thing. I don't know if they've refined it. Ouch. But not enough for Grandpa. There's some mysterious streak that shows a ping there on the mini-map. I got it. Grenades seem to be powerful in this title. Oh, 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 oh. get them, get them, Grandpa. Well, I, I just put it out and I don't notice anything happening. And like I said, the XM4, gotta make sure I get that right, was fairly powerful. The AK-74 seems to have promise, and I might do that in tomorrow's video. Lock Concentrate right on that way. weapon, as is... As are the sniper rifles are the one that I tried. And a couple of the SMGs seem to be doing fairly well. In fact, all the weapons. I, I didn't play with a weapon I considered a dog. Of course, I like dogs, so maybe that's just a bit confusing. Oops. Anytime Grandpa's at the top of his, his team, you know, things aren't going good for the team. So the rest of the guys need to pick up the pick up the weight. There's a spot on this particular map that people camped in, and it's right where the radar dish is. It's 1991, and they're going after Scud missiles in Iraq. Seems like old days for me. You can see I shot on my back there. So if you're worried about or concerned in the least about the advanced movement, don't be. It just flows kind of naturally. There we go. I'm just kind of being quiet to let you look at it now yeah the ammunition box they were everywhere good teams were dropping them everywhere too grandpa worked his way around the map now one thing with the xm4 and everybody pretty much agreed with it here's another map you need to be able to get the extended mag for it because you run through those 30 rounds in a hurry. Like I said, the yeah, frags, ultra-powerful the grenades are. Yeah. SM Texas are powerful, and they stick to trees. It's one thing that's a little different. There's somebody there. I thought the maps were vibrant, bright. The movement is good once you, in fact, the movement is outstanding once you hit that one setting. Like I said, I'll put that in the next video. I didn't want to make this one too long. I wanted to show the weapons and the maps that are available. There is one more map that I played that you haven't seen yet. And that's an indoor, like, condominium motel map. I think it's a condo building. But all the old t tricks that you use work, including getting gacked by a grenade. No. Oh. Like I said, a lot of good players on both teams. Where are you going, weasel? There's some sort of a perk that allows you to see the enemy through the wall in red and you can tell which way they're running. I don't know which perk that is yet, but we're gonna find out. There we got that guy he tried to jump over Grandpa. Now I asked the rest of the team if they thought it was strange that everybody was dressed alike, but there are about three or four operators maybe on each team that you can pick out depending on which version of the beta you have. Like I said, movement is fluid. The gun is awesome. I played some Black Ops 4 this week just in preparation, and I thought the movement for Black Ops 4 was horrible in comparison. Things have really, really uh, improved 
over the last seven years. You can see that even on pretty much the stock weapon, recoil is easy to control. Now you may hear me talking over myself. I was talking to the boys and the boys in the band. We were trying to win. All right, let's move on. The SWAT 5.56. Now, I first tried it out in the burst mode, and I thought it was, well, I made a dog's breakfast out of it. So, somebody on the stream, I was streaming. Um, I'm not your friend. I'm your enemy. I'm not your friend. He knows who he is. He made this outstanding suggestion that I go in single shot mode. And in single shot mode, at least for me, this weapon is an absolute beast. I mean, it is a gacamole machine. You will be serving chips with the gacamole. And it shoots across the map. I got a couple of long shots with it. I'm just showing you a smattering of... A smattering of the engagement. You saw that time I, I hit that guy twice in the head and somehow it didn't gack didn't him. Kill him. The question is, are people still using their aftermarket steroids? Hard to tell, but most of the guys, and I'm talking about really good players, believe we ran into a few guys using their Cronuses and that sort of thing. Who knows? We just had a lot of good fun. If you've given up on COD in general, I don't know if they're going to have free play when this one is launched. You really ought to try it because this game is so good so far. Now, I didn't run into any loss of connection. Sometimes it took a while to get a game, but I, that's probably the beta servers. Didn't run into any bugs like we had in Modern Warfare 3. Just keep pumping. Keep pumping the shots at people. And look, you, get, you have enough of a magazine that you don't have to switch it out very often. That's something I like. And when you get close to somewhere where you can possibly attach to a wall, lean in, does it automatically for you. Or you can lean in even further by the typical way of doing it. And there I... Put an ammo pouch in front of myself. I like soaking like a tea bag. And uh, no comments on that, please. The maps, I liked them also. Those guys are lining up. Just got a double kill with the marksman. And this is the bare bones version of the weapon in case anybody don't know what the up. attachments will do for you because i haven't i can't see now i did end up falling in holes a lot on these maps kind of funny whoop like right there i fell off the side but this gives me the good old time flavor idea. of cod back 15 years ago or so with much better interface much better map I mean, much more beautiful maps. Oh my God. I don't know why that wasn't a triple kill. Which you can see, Grandpa's having a good time. So let me know what your experience is if you run into any difficulties with the software at all. Like and subscribe is always appreciated. Helps me, helps the family. Joining the community is also something that Grandpa doesn't like getting executed. I'm going to show you one other thing here in a second, which is kind of odd. Because we have a really positive community of all ages. Uh, the oldest guy I know so far is 73. We have people down to, well, below the age where you can legally play COD according to the licenses. But we all know that happens. The six-year-olds become the pros, the shotsies of the world, the dashies, the celliums, the abesies, those guys. I think we ought to try to get the hard point. 
There I am. I've been taken hostage. This guy is abusing, elder abuse, abusing the heck out of me. And he's hiding behind me, gacking people. And then to thank me, he rips a knife through old grandpa. I mean, that's <laughs> that's got to impact the gallbladder. The grandpa ran around pulling the trigger many times, and the enemy kept falling. And things got increasingly better, even though the lobbies didn't get any easier. The more games I played, the first game, first two or three games, there are people that have been on the maps and... Pretty much melted, old grandpa. And just look how much fun this map is. And think of all the maps to come. Usually you get tired of the beta maps, and I don't like them in when the game's released, but these maps play really well for my play style. A lot of places for people to hide, though. I gotta, I ain't gonna lie to you about that. Fell through the hole. Okay, how do we get up there? Fell through the hole. I think I didn't know where I was. And that guy thought his buddy was still there. Like I said, like and subscribe. Always appreciated. Join us. We have a good time. I'll let you watch the rest of this in peace. There's only about 10 more seconds. Cheers to you. Have a good beta and peace.